Hi guys, I am back in my closet, back from my road trip. I'm just gonna recap the last stretch of my drive because there wasn't much to see or do. Last time I saw Paul, I was horrible but I left my brother's apartment and I headed south for like 30 minutes to Cupertino. I wanted to visit my friend Brian, who I've been friends with since middle school, at Apple and I had lunch there. So this whole morning has kind of been a nice throwback and even being in Silicon Valley because I actually used to live in San Jose when I was a kid. But just being in Silicon Valley, I could I could feel my road rage coming back with all the crazy drivers. And as I started to get closer to LA, my mind started to wander about all the things I needed to do, my to-do list, deadlines that I had coming up, and even all the things that I have missed out on. And I know I've kind of been in a very heavy state of introspection. So I really don't mean this to get slushy by any means. And listening to Eckhart Tolle has brought out so much in me. It was like a very enriching listen upon this drive. But it's hard because how can I sustain this feeling that feels like a fleeting inspiration? Like I wanna hold on to the space I've created and now I finally understand what they mean when they say in yoga, to take your practice off the mat. Even after practicing throughout all these years, I never quite grasped that until I was able to feel something so, so profound. And it's so easy being back in the city in the metropolitan living, all of that work you've put in to yourself and your spirit can just dissipate. I'm really trying to hold on to it, which is why meditation is now making so much more sense to me. It's that stillness to feel even more alive. And now I can imagine what my own practice with my spirituality looks like. And for me, it's a sense of peace and stillness. And it's really hard to teach someone that, in my opinion, because I think I've listened and practiced and tried to be a part of it for so many years, but until feeling something so profound, I now understand what I wanna hold on to, what I wanna nourish because it's there. It's my seed. It took me a while to re-download Instagram, but I finally did because as much as I want to live life without it, it is part of my work. <laughs> but the break from Instagram has been so nice because now I'm instantly bored when I open the app and thus has made me so much more conscious of how much time I'm spending on it because after a couple swipes, of seeing maybe my top six posts, I'm done. Whereas before, I would scroll through my whole timeline, then look through everyone's stories. I would black out. I would spend like an hour on Instagram on accident, and that's the worst feeling, right? I took the time to put away all the treasures I found and sort of humbly thank them for being a part of my journey. And that's one of the things I do love about traveling and collecting small reminders. Not to live in the past is that's what they are. They're just reminders and to hone back on that, especially since this trip has been so cathartic for me. The whole trip has been really cathartic for me because it brought a lot of my emotions to the forefront, which in turn allowed all of us to share what makes us all human. I was able to spend time in this undistracted space to do inventory on my own life and really reevaluate what matters to me in life and how to show up for them, including us, this community. So I wanna thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, the messages, the comments, everything, the thoughtfulness. I'm also so excited it was a unanimous yay for the slack group i think we all just need something like that especially because there's so many beautiful like-minded humans here i actually already started it i did like a little sleeper drop on twitter i'm gonna make sure it's in the description and please introduce yourself we want to get to know you and there are so many amazing people from all around the world and it's just beginning so i just want to thank you guys so much again for being here and showing up i really appreciate it also i want to give a huge Thank you and a big shout out to Qyana. They were the sponsor for this trip and they have been one of the best brands I've been able to work with. I had this idea for the road trip for a while. I wasn't able to afford it, especially after leaving my job. So I wanted to work with a brand that I love their products and would want to take their products along anyways, as I do with every part of the brands I work with. Um, we as creators, obviously you guys know that we make sponsored posts, but a lot of the times these brands kind of really want to milk 
us as the creators and they'll you guys as the audience so suddenly like every contract is pilfered with you know hashtags you have to do this this and that and that's when content becomes inauthentic. Hugh Yana, I just told them the idea of something I wanted to do and if they wanted to be a part and I would love to take their products along regardless if they are a sponsor or not. Yeah, and I just love that all their all their stuff is like label free. And Shilpa, who is one of the two female owners of this brand, was like on board, yes, everything that Kiana stands for gave me a bunch of products and said nothing else. Heading to New York right now, actually I have to call my Uber, oh my God. So I'm gonna call my Uber right now. It's gonna take me 50 minutes to get to the airport. I'm not asking you to buy their stuff. I'm not calling it out. I'm not saying, oh, here's the deal or anything. But I just want you guys to know that they're supporting me. They supported this video series that I hope you guys loved. And just to know that beautiful female operated companies like this exist. I would love to see your guys' hashtag art of loneliness. I know it's not actually loneliness. It's more of a Solowness? Someone said it really well and I don't remember the word. Solitude. I hope this inspired some of you to get out of your own mental prison and just get out and explore and feel space and feel open and celebrate that with yourself. Um, I think it's beautiful. Yes, love you guys all. I will see you guys sometime soon, but if not, I will definitely see you guys in the Slack group. Oh, it's called Ward. We can talk about that later. Um, there's actually not much to talk about, but I wanted to name it something that's not that chic. So anyways, I'll see you guys at Ward. Bye! Oh, I know you said that you take me anyway I came over when But I push you from my brain She oh gentle baby I couldn't stay up only cause you pain I was your starry eyed lover and the one that you saw I was your hurricane rider and the woman you called We were just two moon shiners on the cusp of a breath And I've been burning for you baby since the 